Kansas, gateway to Oz. Under the rainbow, this is where it was. Hollyhocks and red ripe tomatoes, and churned homemade ice cream. Let me tell you, Kansas is more than tornadoes. It's the best part of Dorothy's dream. Today on Around Kansas, join us for a story about a new book written by Roger Ringer called Kansas Oddities. Then join us for a story about bird migration and where they go across the state. Next, we'll have a poem from Ron Wilson, and we'll end with a look at Nicodemus and its history. Stay with us. Closed captioning brought to you by Ag Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at agpromosource.com. This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Well, hello again. I'm Frank uh, here in Topeka, and Deb, my co-host, is out there in western Kansas wandering around somewhere. <laughs> uh, she's a very busy lady out there. Uh, history is her thing, and there's a lot of history in western Kansas and w as well. Anyway, here we are. We're a little bit past the middle of July, and gosh, we've had all kinds of things going on, uh, lots of festivals and all of that. But of course, county fairs are coming up. We mentioned that the last time, and you know they're really fun events. So if you see somebody's having a county fair, go enjoy it, especially if you like corn dogs and funnel cakes. No, just kidding. Uh, there's a lot of great entertainment and a, and a lot of great things to see. So look for a county fair and go see one. Of course, this is around Kansas, and it's a show about people, places, and things that make Kansas a great place to work, live, play, and come visit. So there's still lots of summer, if you're not in the state, to come visit us here in Kansas. There's a ton of stuff to do. And, of course, if you live here in Kansas... There's probably a lot of things that you've never seen in this great state. Believe me, it is quite um, eclectic, diverse, whatever. If you were to go Highway 36 out to uh, western Kansas and then go down the edge of Kansas and then back along the border and then back up, you'd say, how many states did we go through? It's not the distance. It is the geography, the topography that you will see. Too many people have the idea that uh, once you get past Highway 81, everything is just flat. <laughs> well, it is, but it isn't. The High Plains, of course, is in northwest Kansas, but uh, there are hills and there are waterfalls, and they, it, it's just a great place to come visit. So uh, have fun this summer and take a look at Kansas. Uh, okay, what else do we have? Well, Deb, of course, uh, does stories each week. And this week, uh, she's going to have a story about Nicodemus, which should really be an interesting story. So I hope you'll stay tuned for that. And then, of course, she'll do another story on wildlife. Um, I think wildlife is kind of a, I don't know, a surprise to her sometimes. Sorry, Deb. But uh, anyway, she gets fascinated with it. And there's a lot of diverse wildlife in the state of Kansas. And unfortunately... Like many places around the country, wildlife is beginning to come into uh, our towns. I have foxes and raccoons in, uh, in my neighborhood and, of course, squirrels and all that. Anyway, uh, and then there's a grand reunion reenactment, and that's going to be an interesting story, too. So, anyway, we have a great show for you today. At least we think so, so stick around and find out. Highways 40, 83, and I-70 come together right here in Oakley. Roads that lead to businesses, to magnificent rock formations, to scenic vistas, to places where legends were made. Roads that lead us home. Discover Oakley, the gateway to western Kansas. I'm Derek Sawyer, and I'm a fourth-generation Kansas farmer. I've known all my life I wanted to farm this land near McPherson, which was my grandfather's before me. 
I'm Katie Sawyer, a journalist who never dreamed I'd live my life on the farm until I met Derek. We've married our worlds to help educate consumers about the rural lifestyle and all that farmers do to provide safe and affordable food. Watch our story and the stories of other young Kansas food producers at kansaslivingmagazine.com slash meetafarmer. Fort Wallace was the fightingest fort in the West. Fossils, Indians, soldiers, scouts, wagons, trails, pioneers, stories. Discover the story of Fort Wallace and the people who served here, the people who fought here, the people who settled here. Wallace County, where the past is present. Hi, I'm Kim Mandarin with Hardy Insurance. I'm here to help you with all of your farm and ranch needs. When it comes to protecting your operation and your family, you need a name you can trust at a price you can afford. Call me today or visit hardyaviationins.com. This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Welcome to Kansas Gateway to Roger Ringer has just authored a book guaranteed to fly from the shelves. Kansas Oddities, Just Bill, the Acting Rooster, The Locust Plagues of Grasshopper Falls, Naturalist Camps, and more. Yes, there's more. Touchdown at Dead Cow International Airport and sample the state's bumper crop of bizarre history. The most commonplace sites contain unlikely stories from the bulldozers' Morrowsville origins to the sunflower's journey from outlawed weed to state symbol. Some of this heritage lies submerged or buried, like the world's only saltwater spring, which now sits at the bottom of a man-made lake. Rumored caches of the Flegel Gang's loot still draw treasure hunters in spades. From mariachi legends to rodeo roundups, Roger Ringer gathers in a vast and varied harvest of Kansas lore. Marcy Penny wrote the foreword and said, Roger Ringer loves being a Kansan and thrives on digging up the obscure, the quirky, and the fascinating. Kansas is a state that needs assistance in revealing itself, and Roger obliges. From functional inventions and interesting people to tragedies and legends, you'll learn many of the things not usually noted in Kansas history journals. Short, easy-to-read essays will open your eyes to such people as Jacob Haynes, who came up with the clothesline tightener, and Jacob Weems Buller, who invented the snap coupler hitch. The history of the automatic telephone exchange is personalized with a story about two undertakers. One was getting all the business because his girlfriend, a telephone operator, was directing all the business to him. This practice led to the automatic exchange. Roger did the hard work of digging up the rest of the story, so you can sit back and enjoy these accounts of little-known but interesting Kansas history. This book is going to find a place on your shelf for sure. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. Valley Vet Supply. Heinen Brothers, a fourth generation Northeast Kansas farm family, knows how tough farming can be. Farmers helping farmers. Heinen Brothers Ag, selling and servicing crop protection products, fertilizer, anhydrous ammonia, cover crops, quality aerial and ground application. Call today to learn about our extended term financing program, 800-760-4964, HeinenBrothersAg.com. The new Better Horses Network is worldwide. Presented by Lucas Oil. Featuring worldwide radio and TV with iconic hosts like Al Dunning, Sharon Camarillo, Ernie Rodina, Lindy Birch, and Craig Cameron. With American Cowboy, Horse and Rider, Brushy Creek, Cavenders, and Ride TV. Worldwide Radio and TV, the all-new Better Horses Network. Welcome to Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center. 
right here in Oakley, Kansas on I-70 at exit 76. I-70, after all, is America's Main Street, and we're right here on Main Street for you. Now that I'm an Oakley resident, I still come in almost every day, and I sit and listen to the conversations of the people around me. You know, the guys who are talking about the big elf they just bagged, or the folks who are taking their kid to college for the first time. People just traveling up and down the highway. Real people, just like you and me. And they find just what I find here, real people to serve them. There's history, there's scenery. We hope you'll stop and see us soon. Welcome to Oakley. This segment brought to you by the Western Kansas Wildlife Travel Center in Oakley. As birds begin heading south for the winter, Kansas has a front row seat to the migration. Cheyenne Bottoms is one of the top migrating shorebird areas in the United States. And grasslands like the Flint Hills are important stops for many birds including the buff-breasted sandpiper and the American golden plover as they travel to their winter homes in Argentina and Uruguay, said Nature Conservancy State Director Rob Maines. In early May, the Nature Conservancy held an organization-wide birding challenge following the success of previous year's bird surveying efforts in Virginia. Kansas Avian Programs Manager Bob Penner was one of the first to accept the challenge, organizing both skilled and novice birders on 12 locations across the state. Challenge rules required all birds must be counted within a single 24-hour period. Despite comparatively small land areas and habitats less diverse than other states such as Texas and New York, Kansas placed in the top three of each category of the challenge. One, most species at a single protected property. Two, highest total number of bird species observed. And three, highest percentage of species known to the state. Out of 22 participating states, Kansas took top honors in the final category, documenting 205 different species, or more than half of the 366 bird species known to be found in Kansas in the month of May. In total, there were about 476 different birds that called Kansas home at some point in the year, not counting the extinct species like the passenger pigeon. Cheyenne Bottoms came in second place for a single location after 126 different species were observed. Many of the locations, such as the Tallgrass Prairie National Preserve, Cheyenne Bottoms, Dingus National Area, and Smoky Valley Ranch, have a year-round public access for bird watchers, hikers, and casual observers. Summer is busy at Tarwater Farm and Home. We have just about everything you'll need for your summer projects and we're consistently competitively priced. Tarwaters can help make your grass and garden grow. And we have a huge variety of equipment to cut it. If you have a farm, Tarwater has the products and equipment to keep it going strong. And our expanded parking lot will make it even more convenient to shop. So come see us at Tarwater Farm and Home in Topeka. Sand Strew, veterinarian in Western Iowa. I have a veterinary clinic and uh, started doing stem cell therapy on dogs in August of 2014. And after the first two dogs, after three weeks, I saw such dramatic results. I said, hey, I have arthritis. I have joints, really need this help. Where can I go to get this done? I had stem cell therapy done in November of 2014 on my finger joints, my hip, and the ball of my left foot, uh, all of which I'd had real severe problems with, saw a pretty dramatic uh, improvement in a short amount of time. I would certainly recommend that somebody don't wait until I'm in the position that I was in with the d damage already done to my joints. I encourage veterinarians to use it for their animals, and I encourage anybody who sees this video, if you have need, get in contact with these people because this is a phenomenal place to have this done. Welcome to the Jerry Thomas Gallery and Collection, where we showcase my renowned frontier military and Native American artifacts. Behind me, you see a touch of fall. We put together not only the beauty of Micah High Walking, who is the first graduate of West Point of the Northern Cheyenne people and a dear friend, 
but also a Hudson's Bay blanket that I have here in the gallery. The unique opportunity that I was able to have was we unveiled this painting and surprised Micah at Custer Battlefield, a true honor. Next time you see a beautiful field of corn, reach out and thank the farmers who work tirelessly to raise corn for livestock feed, renewable fuels, and exports to feed a growing world population. The farmers on the Kansas Corn Commission work for Kansas Corn with grower-funded checkoff dollars that support foreign and domestic market development, research, promotion, and education to expand opportunities for Kansas farmers. To learn more, visit kscorn.com. With nearly 100 years of broadcasting excellence, Wren Radio is now live on the internet playing hit songs of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Join Jack Diamond, Matt Collins, Les Glenn, Frankie C., Antonio Barber, Wings Callahan, and the real Don Steele for some of the best music ever recorded. Hear it at wrendigitalmedia.com or get the Wren Oldies Radio app in Play Store or App Store. And tell Alexa, good times and great oldies on Wren Internet Radio. This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. The best cowboy poetry is based on true stories. And unfortunately, this one is a true story. It's titled, Never Kiss a Wasp. The cowboy climbed a ladder one pretty day in June to fill the diesel tank so he could bale some hay real soon. When a suddenly roused insect came angrily buzzing by and he swatted at that bug because he thought it was a fly. He didn't like those insects inside his personal space, so he went to brush that bug off the center of his face. Then he learned with consternation that it was not a fly he had. Instead, it was a wasp, and that wasp was fighting mad. That mean wasp's response to this perceived hardship was to sting that poor old cowboy right smack upon the lip. The cowboy howled in sudden pain. He jumped down from the ladder, while his hay crew all broke up, thinking it a laughing matter. The cowboy looked for some relief. His lip began to swell. His howard curses rose to another decibel. He went up to the house, relieved to seek thereafter, but one look at his swollen lips sent his family into laughter. Dad, you look like a duck, his laughing son advised, because the cowboy's lip had doubled up in size. The cowboy's garbled reply he could not ascertain, because he mumbled like a dental patient full of Novocaine. In between the bouts of his family's hilarity, his wife applied baking soda paste as her home remedy. Now the cowboy has recovered but the bailing time is lost, and he always tells his sons, boys, never kiss a wasp. Happy trail. My name's Karen Cope, and I have multiple sclerosis. When you have MS, on the outside you look great, but you know what's really going on in the inside is chronic body pain, chronic fatigue. And there's lots of days that I'd wake up and say, Oh, please God, help me get through this day. You know, after stem cells, Chloe, my youngest daughter, she was asked by my father-in-law, how's your mom doing? And Chloe said, uh, Grandpa, I've never had a mom like this before because she was eight when I was diagnosed and she really had no other memory of me but being sick. It's really the simple things that we do as a family, like play cards and, and to be able to win at cards, you know, they all laugh because I used to, repeat myself and say, what hand are we on? You know, what's, where are we at? And it's just been really a, a true blessing from God and we're, we're really thankful. This is one of my favorite bits that I make. The name I give this bit is a derby bit. I had a roan head horse that was running through the bridle with the chain bit and I made this bit here. It, it, it really worked good on that horse. I sent this bit to Donnie McNeese, who breaks in cattle for Jeff Smith and Ike's Cox. And I said, ride this bit on a lot of horses, see how you get along with it. They did. And he said, bull, that's really a good bit. Fits a lot of horses. Then I give this bit to my good friend, Brent Wright, who I make bits for, and I said, See how this bit will work on a reining horse. I call him up a couple months later. I said, Brent, how you get along with that bit? And he said, good. He said, you don't need it right this minute, do you? And I said, no. He said, good, because I'm down here in Texas 
and I just won a big fraternity riding that bit. And when Brent got home, he gave me the buckle that he won the fraternity with. I'm, I'm really proud of that buckle that Brent Wright gave it to me and also that he got along so good with my bit. Sure Crop Fertilizers was started by my father, Don Sherman, and my mother, Shirley Sherman. Family business has started in the 80s. We predominantly focus on plant nutrients and what we can do to give growers better responses for with the fertilizer dollars that they do and what we can do to you know, make those things work better for the grower. We're based out of Seneca, Kansas. We work with growers in their soil analysis to figure out what they need, and then we can put those in a blend that gives them the best results and so that we can deliver that direct to their farm so that they have those nutrients where they need them, when they need them, and so that they can apply them in a manner that's, that's very efficient to them and, and works well on their planting systems and what they're doing. Sure Crop Fertilizers has been around for a long time. We always say we're, we're big enough to take care of everything you need, but yet we're small enough to do it quickly. You can get a hold of us at 1-800-635-4743. Um, our website is surecropfertilizers.com. And you can always email me at corey at surecropfertilizers.com. And with any questions you have, we'll be glad to answer and work with you. Ag Promo Source is a unique group of marketing specialists with one mission, help your ag business grow. Each affiliate has their own area of expertise and they work together to bring you advice, products, and services. To get started, visit agpromosource.com. Ag Promo Source, together we grow. Been brought to you by Kansas Farm Bureau, the voice of agriculture. To join today or more information, go to kfb.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter. It was called the Colored Exodus. Thousands of African Americans leaving the post-Civil War South looking for new routes. By the late 1870s, black immigration from the South had reached its peak. Interested in bringing new settlers into the rugged, windswept Kansas plains, a white man, W.R. Hill, traveled throughout the South, encouraging blacks to choose from new government lands. By the summer of 1877, actually before the exodus began, 300 blacks were convinced to move from the South to Graham County, and the new town site of Nicodemus was established. Although several African-American settlements were scattered throughout the Graham County Prairie and surrounding area, the town of Nicodemus became the center of African-American culture for the region. Among the residents, former Buffalo soldier Sam Garland, who aided in the rescue of the Forsyth Scouts at Beecher Island. Today, Nicodemus exists as a small community, the longest-lasting black town in the state, a monument to the black pioneers who came to Kansas in search of new opportunities and prosperity. The efforts of those pioneers was recognized in 1996 when Congress established the Nicodemus National Historic Site operated by the National Park Service. In 1976, the National Park Service recognized the significance of Nicodemus to U.S. history, designating the town as a National Historic Landmark District. In 1996, Congress designated Nicodemus as a National Historic Site, reviving the community's pioneer spirit and ensuring the history of the town will live on. The nomination to the status read, Nicodemus National Historic Site preserves, protects, and interprets the only remaining western town established by African Americans during the Reconstruction period following the Civil War. The town of Nicodemus is symbolic of the pioneer spirit of African Americans who dared to leave a region they had been familiar with to seek personal freedom and the opportunity to develop their talents and capabilities. Residents will host the Emancipation, an annual event first celebrated in the town in 1878. The 140th annual Nicodemus Homecoming will be held July 26th through the 29th with events including a parade and a 5K run and lots of good food. Thanks to the Kansas State Historical Society for the information contained in this segment and visit their site for more information on Nicodemus and other towns with a pioneering past.
I'm Frank in Topeka and Deb's out there in western Kansas and this is around Kansas so we'll see you somewhere around Kansas. Closed captioning brought to you by Egg Promo Source. Together we grow. Learn more at eggpromosource.com. We're the best part of Dorothy Street.